Hello everyone, I am Dr. Ravindra Hedges, Diabetologist from Bangalore, practicing diabetology since 15 years. I have written enormous articles in Prajavani and Vijay Karnataka uh, regarding diabetes and I have written a book uh, regarding the diabetes. The book name is called Madhumehe Tadi Dirgasha, means how we can increase lifespan in having diabetes. That's the main motto of the thing. Friends, as per WHO, diabetes is a lifestyle disorder. It doesn't have a complete cure but only can be managed. According to International Diabetes Federation, 463 million people have diabetes in the world. India has estimated 77 million people with the diabetes. Family history, obesity, unhealthy dietary habit, impaired glucose tolerance, high blood pressure, cholesterol, age-wise, and sedentary lifestyle. First thing is mainly hereditary. If any one of the father or mother, one of the parent is having diabetes, at least 30% of the chances of having diabetes will be for the offspring. Or if both the parents are having diabetes, the chance of having diabetes is 50% for the offsprings. Types of diabetes are type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes, and gestation diabetes mellitus. In type 1 diabetes, mostly children are affected. Uh, you can see that about adults in age or 9 to 10 years of age group people will have the type 1 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is the most common type of diabetes where more than 95% of the people of suffering from diabetes are, suffer from type 2 diabetes. Gestation diabetes mellitus where you can see in the pregnancy. Usually it occurs after 5th month of pregnancy. Symptoms of diabetes, mainly the patients will feel the polydipsia, means excess of thirst, patient will not be satisfied of drinking water, he will be having the continuous uh, urge to have water, the first thing. And second thing is excess of uh, hunger, even if you had uh, taken food for half an hour back, he will feel once again the hungerness. The next symptom is polyuria, where the patient or the person have the lot of tendency to pass urine frequently, this is called polyuria. The fourth factor is excessive fatigue. You will have a lot of tiredness even if he is at rest. That's one of the main important part. Uh, and uh, one of the main important uh, symptom is loss of weight. A patient can uh, lose up to 5 to 10 kgs uh, if undiagnosed diabetes. And one of the most important symptom is delay in wound healing and tingling in hands and feet. With uncontrolled diabetes, one can observe a severe weight loss in the patients. In some patients, you can see the weight gain also. That is because of some drugs and in some type of insulin. You can observe some weight gain in those type of patients. Yes, uncontrollable sugar level can lead to conditions like cardiovascular disorder, overweight, obesity, neuropathy, nephropathy, retinopathy, food damage or leg amputations, sexual disorders and depressions. Heart attacks are more common in diabetic people. They are affected twice more than the normal people and uh, mainly in the renal problem or kidney problem. They are affected four times more than the normal type of people. Yes, I would like to recommend patients to check the sugar values once in two months if it's they are normal. But if it's in abnormal conditions, they can check one once in a week or once in a day. In some patients, we advise uh, patients to check the sugar values even two to three times per day because they will be taking the insulins and we have to keep a watch on hypoglycemia or low blood sugar. Yes, scientists have linked several gene mutations to a higher diabetes risk. Firstly, according to your doctors, you have to take your medications properly control your diabetes. The second thing, you have to do the exercise, yoga or uh, walking at least for 40 minutes per day. That depends upon their age. If the age of the patient is more than 50 plus, at least 40 minutes they can walk. And to control the diabetes, the main thing is diet. Keep a watch on your diet. Don't take sweets, don't take the junk foods, don't take high calorie foods. I think if you are Practice these three things, you can control your diabetes very well. Educate yourself about diabetes, get your medications and meal plan organized, try medications for scientifically proven, focus on yoga or exercise, use naturally anti-diabetic supplements. As I am seeing, most people are also approaching for naturally diet supplement, holistically controlling their blood sugar levels along with the use of their medicines and diet. People are used to consume caffeine-based 
beverages on daily basis which mainly includes coffee and tea. How about having a coffee without caffeine which gives us a holistic health benefits for controlling your blood sugar. Eye coffee is a prone dietary supplement which time tested herbal extract of a plant called Salicea which is known as antioxidant to regulate the blood sugar level and traditionally prune and validated scientifically. I consume eye coffee and also recommend everyone to consume these beverages on a daily basis and to support healthy blood sugar level along with your medications and also to follow a good lifestyle and a good diet.